Hi everyone, it's Tammy, and if you're thinking, I just saw this yesterday, you're right. I am doing actually three unboxings tonight of Wonderful Yarn, and I did one yesterday, or one that posted yesterday, one that will posting today right now, hello, and one that will probably post tomorrow. So you'll see me looking the same in three videos because I have these three unboxings to do, and I am super excited. So I have this and this came from, it looks like Denmark and I know what it is now. And I was wondering what in the world it was, but now I think I know and it makes me even more excited. You guys have heard me talk about Skandir and if you haven't, you need to go check her out. She is a knitter and she is from Norway, but she lives in London, and she makes beautiful patterns for, no, this isn't that. This isn't that, goodness gracious. Well, I ordered some yarn kits to do some mitts. She makes beautiful patterns for mitts. So this is not them. This is from a company called Holtzgarn, H-O-L-T-Z, I am lying, H-O-L-S-T-G-A-A-G-A-R-N. Let me try that again. H-O-L-S-T-G-A-R-N, Holtzgarn, and they make beautiful yarn. There's tons of different colors, and it's very inexpensive. And this is Red Clover Super Soft Merino. It's 100% wool, 50 grams, 314 yards. It is three to three and a half millimeter stitches. It's very thin. I would call this sock weight, um, maybe even fingering. Probably sock, but I don't know. It's very, very thin, and I don't use much of this kind of yarn, so I'm not sure what weight it is. Because it says a three to three and a half needle, that makes me think it's a little bit thicker than fingering, but I don't know. So I got a sweater quantity, I think. And I got two different colors. Oh, I can see that now. At first I was thinking it was all the same color. And then I also got some mohair. So let me show you. I got two different colors of pink because I wasn't exactly sure which color would go with the mohair best. I think that this one will. And this is geranium. And then this darker pink is called red clover. So they, they match pretty well. There's just a little bit of a difference, at least in this light right now. I can see that the geranium is lighter than the red clover, but um, they're in the same color family for sure. And then I got this beautiful mohair, and it is 100% pure thin alpaca, and this is 50 grams, and does it tell me anything else? It doesn't look like it. 50 grams, 400 meters. And this is in the color Rose Bay, I think. Or it could be called Titicaca. I don't know, it has both. So there's the Titicaca, and then here is Rose Bay, somewhere right around there. Oh, right there. So I'm not exactly sure which one it is, but it's also the Holtzgarn. And this is it with the geranium, the lighter color. And then here it is with the red clover. So I think it makes a bigger difference with this one and it matches the geranium a little bit better. So I was thinking I could hold, so I that's why I didn't mind that it was like, uh, sport or fingering weight because I thought I could hold these two together and make a beautiful cowl 
and um, because I wasn't sure which color to get, what did I end up doing? I got four of each color, and then I got three of these because this has more yardage, I believe. 400 meters versus 314 meters. So yes, there's more yardage in this. So like I said, I can hold them together. And I figured that if whatever one didn't match, I would have enough to make something else because it's beautiful. Now it is a little wooly and it does even feel a little scratchy. Um, it's not awful, at least. I mean, this is just my first impression. It's not awful, but it is... It's woolly, but like I said, it's very inexpensive, and you can get it at HoltzGarn.com, I believe. I'll try to remember to link it below. If I forget, remind me, but I just thought I would share with you this just because I couldn't believe the price, and um, so far, I mean, so good. I'm pretty excited about it. It's beautiful yarn, and I think that it will make a beautiful, I mean, this is 200 grams of it of yarn that will make a beautiful cowl or um, maybe even a small shawl so yeah I don't know I think it'll be great and um, I might make one for my daughter and I have I think probably enough of this with three of them to make two different things so kind of exciting so thanks for watching guys I hope that you have a wonderful day I'll talk to you later bye bye